outside and one for the unintelligent as fellas get Listen, let's settle this, be clear I could fall back seven years Still it ain't no one ahead of me Consider it a blessing if you get to stand next to me Five star general, OG veteran Pancakes, scrambled eggs, sausage, oatmeal, orange juice, etc. Hi right, guys, we decided to come to the T-neck sushi buffet, right? So we walk in, and what does buffet mean to you guys? It means that there's like a whole setup and you just go eat it, all you can eat. Right. There's, there's nothing here. So I'm like, where's the buffet? And the lady looks at me like I'm fucking nuts. You have to pick it off a menu, and then they bring it to you. I'm like, isn't that just like a regular restaurant? She's like, no, sushi buffet. I'm like... It's all you can eat, but a limited menu. Like okay. certain things. So, <laughs> so we're at T-Neck Sushi Buffet. This is meal number two for the post contest. Not giving a shit, not macro counting. Erin's still counting her macros because that's what she does. Like she orders certain things in certain amounts. I'm just not giving a fuck today. We're going to eat with Greg Valentino later on. And I would like to get White Castle before we leave because we don't have that back home. And it's right near the... Uh, the hotel it's like literally like five minutes away so i don't know maybe not tonight but maybe before we leave and we got one other special place we're going today after we leave here aaron's never been there but i bet you a lot of people that um watch tlc is that what channel it's on or something? I don't know. it's a tv show on tlc we, you guys will see in a little bit so i just wish i could breathe so i could taste my food i can't yeah. taste anything she's been all jacked up again with um well, it's like her cold, cold is back again it's like back i don't know if it's because we didn't sleep or like i don't know so she can't taste anything. So basically, today's like a... Well, if you can't taste it, the macros don't count. It's free calories. Well, I just feel like if, if I'm actually going to have, like, good, like, wow, this is great food, I'm right. fucking taste it's it. It's a fucking waste. It's such a waste. Like, if you have a real bad cold on a cheat day, like, and you eat, you're like, what the fuck? I might as well just eat rice and fucking chicken because... I, I can't tell the difference. Yeah. So. Let's eat, baby. All right, Jersey. And Manny. Manny's the one yesterday that told us about this, so... This one's on you, Manny. And Manny's friend. I don't know who his friend was, but... <laughs> Good job, Manny. <laughs> now, we would ask Erin what she thinks of hers, but... I can't taste it. It feels bad. But it's, it's good, so take my word for it. Okay. okay. Hi, the big surprise today, Carlo's Bakery, the Cake Boss. So, uh, Hoboken, New Jersey, that's where we're at, right? Somewhere around there, yeah. So basically, we came here in 2010 after Rich Siegelman won his pro card. I trained him for his pro card. And he said, if I win my pro card, because we were both watching Cake Boss at the time, he said, if I win my pro card, we're going to the Cake Boss. So we did. So it's been since 2010. And while we were here, I was like, you know what? Lobster tails. Okay, it's the shit that they make here that are pretty, I mean, it's just insane. I'll, we'll put some of it on video, but I couldn't wait to get here. So I was like, Aaron, we got to go to Cake Boss. So here we are in Carlos, smaller than you think it is on TV. You can pan down there and see them doing all that. Here's the Carlo Bakery bounty that we got. These are the lobster tails. They actually look like little lobster tails with filled cream. And then Aaron got this like gluten free, uh, flour free, something like that. I don't no, know. It's, like it's, a, it's just cheesecake. It's just some kind of cheesecake, but it's like it doesn't have gluten in it because she's gluten intolerant. I'm sure it probably does. And then I get the regular um, cherry cheesecake. But And then when all oh, this is the uh, the cupcake, I got a red velvet cupcake that I'll probably polish off later. But I should go ahead and dig into these now. Okay, so after having Carlos Bakery and passing out for like 40 minutes, <laughs> like an hour? an hour, an hour. So we went to sleep for like an hour. It wasn't even planned, just one of those like vacation things. You can do whatever the fuck you want, so why not? We're waiting on our dinner guests now, who are making the trip in from New York, which I appreciate a lot. So it's kind of a surprise guest. I don't even know if I mentioned. Hopefully, I didn't mention it. It's still a surprise. I don't even know what I, I what I've said in the last two days. So I wouldn't even know. 
Do you remember me saying that? I don't think so. No, so we got like a special special guest that's coming to, to see us to have dinner. So we're gonna hopefully he's he's on his way, he'll be here in a few minutes, so stay tuned. So we're done with dinner and um, our friends came down to hang out with us for a little while. And we're actually closing the place down right now, it's like one in the morning. So <laughs> <laughs> Greg. Hey, hey, hey. hey, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is the after dinner bicep, and we're out. <laughs> now, this is my boy. I'm with my boy Jerry. We're having a great time. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Too bad you guys ain't here. I'm actually. Oh, the I'm... stories, holy shit. I, I mean, I wish. Oh, holy Jesus Christ. We told some stories tonight that I think the people in the restaurant, if they were listening, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. You have no idea. Forget it. My reputation will be done. If you guys knew some of the shit we talk about, forget about it. His reputation, right? <laughs> my reputation. Cool. Well, thanks for coming down, Greg. Really sure, I love you, it. man. You're great awesome, guy. buddy. You know the story. So you got to come down to Virginia, right? You ain't. I'm going to Virginia, and let me tell you something. None of you guys are invited. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a momo. Stop fucking around. And, and this ain't the Jerry Ward bicep, but we're out. <laughs> and so we start off the day today, day two after the contest, at White Castle. And Aaron and I were just talking about it. And uh, this is the same thing as a uh, company called Crystals, which is down south. And, you know, if they had this next to home, I wouldn't be eating this right now. But as a kid, I was trying to explain to her, it's not about the taste of the food. As a kid, we used to drive from Rhode Island to Tennessee and Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, where the rest of my family was. And my mom's like favorite little thing was these little Crystals burgers. Like they're these little burgers, you know, like you can see on the size of my hand if you don't know where they are. <coughs> and, you know, we would stop at this restaurant, the whole family, we'd sit down and we'd eat, and it was like a good time, you know, like, yeah, I get the fries too. And, um, you know, that was like a big thing, like for us, was stopping at Crystals because my mom loved it so much. So like, White Castle, when I saw that I was here, I was like, we're gonna stop at White Castle. And it's not about the taste of the food. It's not even about the name of the restaurant, because Crystal's is a different name, it's the same company. But like, the smell of it, immediately, and the taste of it brings me back to my childhood. And I was just explaining to Aaron again, like, I relive a lot of things, like a lot of good memories. There's a lot of bad memories that I have from childhood, you know, to early adulthood. So it's like, a song can bring me back, like right back to high school to a good memory, a smell, a taste, an action, a place, like anything. And uh, like when I went to Memphis, I went to Arkansas for a uh, legendary supplements opening. I stopped in Memphis to go to um, Graceland and they had crystals. And when I saw the K, the first thing I thought of was the trips with my parents. You know, and I went to <coughs> Crystals, ordered the burgers, sat down by myself on this trip. And I filmed a video and I talked about you know, my mom liking it and stuff but the whole time all I could think about was my family and those trips and it's I don't know I guess it's like the older you get the more nostalgic you get I don't know does this make any sense well I think it's also nice for you to remember something positive right. from all you know in between all of the rough experiences you have and I think that any reminder of something positive is I mean I mean, at family. least you're, you're focusing on something good and not <clears throat> bad I mean I'll give you that I mean, my family was poor and this was something cheap but it was something that like we all enjoyed together. You know, like if we had pizza once a week from um, Town Pizza in Riverside, Rhode Island, that was like, you know, not like family night, but it was like family night. Like we'd have pizza, we'd sit down at the table and turn the TV on and you know. It's we, fun stuff, when yeah, you, especially when you're little. It's like, night. oh, this is so cool. Yeah. So it, it, that's what it reminds me of. So I figured <clears throat> before I go back to eating on like my um, clean macros, not clean, my healthy macros, yeah. which will probably be tomorrow. Um, I was like, we're going to stop before we get home and I'll just eat this. And this, I mean, I don't even know calorically what this is. If you guys want to add it up, it's five of these burgers. And I, don't know what, I don't know what is in that, though. It's like, cheeseburger. And no, it's not. It's not burger. It's a cheeseburger. It's a pickle. I mean, I know that's what they say, but like, how do you know that's... I don't know. Anyway. All right. It's like home. After our nice little stop at White Castle... My stomach still hurts. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're back in Maryland and it's fucking like 69 degrees in fucking raining. Okay, the whole weekend's been weird, okay? The, the whole show bomb, okay? It was our anniversary, which is awesome when he was exhausted and I've been sick. So cool. Yes, we're sick the whole weekend. I'm sick the whole weekend. 
But now it's like we're back home, we're gonna go get Brady, and it's like pouring rain out. Right. Somebody forget to tell Mother Nature that it's the 4th of July. It's supposed to be 100 degrees right now. It's going on. It was warmer up north in New Jersey. And they're gonna cancel all the fireworks and stuff tonight, which they already, she's got these alerts on her phone. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's gonna rain. She got these weird alerts, and then it's like fireworks cancel. So there's no fireworks. I and mean, we're gonna shoot them off tomorrow night. What the hell? Who cares, right? It's not 4th of July. It's just a weird couple We're days. driving the rain, which is, people drive like complete assholes in the rain. They just, it's like, oh my God, it's rain. Unless you're in New Jersey and then it's a perfect day and then you're gonna die. Yeah, well, even down here when it's like sunny out, people drive like assholes too. Snow, forget it, they just stay home. So we're gonna get back on the road and go get Brady and drive through the fucking monsoon. <laughs> Say hi, Brady. Say hi, Bobby. Hi. I swear to God, you got fatter. How do you get bigger every time we come and pick you up? Because ice cream, you had dog ice cream. So we were told he didn't eat all of his food, but sure, sure shit, he ate all of his ice cream <laughs> that they gave him. That's my boy. That's my good boy. What are you doing back there, buddy? Anyway, he's so excited he could barely watch the car. He's like all over the place. Now he's just sniffing like the car like he's never seen it before. We're going to go home. We'll give him some rice. And are we, are we, are we have rice, babe? No. No, we're going to make some rice. Make, make some rice for him. He didn't poop yet either. So we're going to have to do a little walk in the rain here to get him to poop. I'm sure that'll be about two seconds. Yeah. We're going to try to find out how to get that ice cream so we can give it to him like regularly, no? They said you can't get it. Like He's they buy it. Thirty-five pounds. We don't need it. How regularly do you want to give it to him? Oh, but he, he probably likes it. Do you like it? What the fuck, Ray? You like your ice cream? Do you need to be bigger than thirty-five pounds? <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I don't know, Mom. What are you doing? I see a bait back there. You're big too, Dad. I'm just not convinced that he needs to be more than thirty-five pounds. Look, we need to have the biggest. French Bulldog in the history of French Bulldogs. Um, hi, this is Brady. Hi. Like, there that's just is. how it goes. We had, like, the fucking Bulldog who was 76 pounds, <laughs> who was supposed to be 50, and then the French Bulldog, who was, like, he's got to be above 35 now, because he looks bigger than, like, How the hell did his mom weigh 20 pounds, his dad weigh 22, and he's 35 pounds? Because I've been fucking teaching him how to train. <laughs> He's been on Intracell 7 for the last fucking, since he was well, born. Well, he needs to stop just training chest. Okay, can you teach him leg day? Oh, he's going to sink in the fucking tub. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go home. Well, I don't know who's happier. Guess Brady what Bear? Gonna, guess what? Or Dad? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to eat the tacos. You want tacos? Oh, no, you want the tacos? Dad, no, Dad. No tacos for the baby. Dad, no tacos, Dad. No tacos. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> for the baby tacos? So, we grabbed tacos. We didn't want to leave Brady home by himself. So we took him with us. So we took him with us. We did a family trip for takeout. We got soft tacos and a quesadilla. And we have guac and rice and salsa. And I don't even know. Like everything. Like everything, everything. So here's the boy eating the tacos. Grandpa got to eat.